everybody. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara, in case you guys didn't know. I decided that I was gonna do another like couple days in my life because I'm getting my nails done on Thursday. So that's kind of fun. And tomorrow I have like a long school day and have some work I have to do. And today I thought I'd start out with a little fall haul from TJ Maxx that I got yesterday. I'm normally not like a fall like fanatic. Like I, I feel like a lot of people are. We were like, let's go to TJ Maxx. Just like take a peek, look at stuff. Why not? It was Labor Day, so we had nothing to do. And then I was like, mm, now that I have my own place, like I probably should start decorating and just like changing things up. So it doesn't feel so like, like same thing every day type vibe, you know? So we went to TJ Maxx and got a few fall things. Then we went to Target and like Target had literally nothing, like absolutely nothing. And then the thing with TJ Maxx is like, I wanted mostly fall themed things, not like Halloween or like Thanksgiving. I wanted just fall stuff, but everything was very much like spooky Halloween stuff. Like actually like, not like scary, but things that were for like a Halloween party almost. There were like haunted TVs and phones and stuff. And like, that's cool. It doesn't look like decoration until people are like messing with it. And it's just me living here. So I'm not gonna pay for that and like not ever actually use it. I got these claw clips that have little like spiders on them. They're spider webs. I got these mostly cause I'm a server. So I thought I should start like kind of using cuter accessories. I thought maybe I could try wearing these one day, but also like, I just like claw clips. Got these. And then I got some new dish towels. These just have little like that on it, you know? She's very talkative in the morning. I don't know what her deal is, but okay. Um, I just got some towels. This was Tristan's candle pick. This is what it looks like. We're like a big candle apartment here. And it has a little like fire on the top. It's actually really cute. It just smells like wood. <laughs> I don't know, he's a guy, so that's what he wanted. And then I got this one because it's a candle, but also it's just like a cute little pumpkin, just can sit like that. But I think, I forget what the flavor is. Oh, it's vanilla pumpkin. And it smells really, really good, so. This one isn't fall related, but I told him when we were in there, I was like, do not let me forget. I need to get perfume because a bottle of perfume exploded in my work bag. So I got more perfume. That doesn't really matter. My camera's about to die. <laughs> I'll go through this quick. Then I got fall soap, pumpkin spice syrup for coffee. I have to charge my camera. I'll be back. I'm back from class. Also, I put the claw club in. She's really cute. I don't think I need the second one though. I'm thinking I'm gonna give it to this girl that I work with because she always has like fun claw clips. So I thought I would give that to her. I don't know, feeling generous, don't know. My apartment is an absolute disaster. Like here's my kitchen. She looks crazy. Living room looks a nightmare. I just need to clean and set up some more of this fall stuff. I did order an acai bowl for lunch because I was gonna get a bagel while I was at school, like get a proper bagel, but I was feeling kind of icky and I didn't want to stand in a line. So I just ordered an acai bowl while I was in class so that it would get here when I was almost home. It's not here yet, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna light a candle. Here's my issue is like, I want to light one of my new candles, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to light this one because it's Tristan's technically. Like it's his, like he bought this, but like, well, actually I bought it for him. Point is he picked this one out. So it doesn't feel right to burn this without him here. I was doing some thinking on my drive home and I was like, this is super cute. Like decor, obviously. I, that's what I told you guys already, but it is a candle. But I was thinking like what I could use this for once the candle's burnt out and I like melt all the wax and clean it out and stuff. Like what can I use this for? I don't have any ideas yet. If you guys have ideas, let me know. I was thinking like the practical thing would be like to put candy corn in here or something, but I don't like candy corn. So I don't know what I would put in here because it's not big enough for like anything else really, but I want to put something in here. Sage is like burying her head in my shoe. Sage, that is so stinky and gross. Yeah, if you guys have ideas on what's put in here, please let me know because I don't know, like this wasn't expensive. Well, actually this was $13. <laughs> so maybe like for TJ Maxx candles, maybe that's a little expensive, but I was like, oh, I can use this as decor after, but I don't know what to put in this. So if you guys have ideas, let me know. Otherwise I'm just gonna harass everybody in my life and ask them what I should do. I don't really want to start burning this one yet because I want it to last like throughout fall. I don't want to burn it excessively. But the other candles that I have are pretty low. Like I have this coffee one, as you can see, that's pretty low. And then I have this one, which this one is even low. I need a lighter that is like the long ones. If I use a lighter like this, like, you know, those ones like this, it melts my nail polish. And mind you, I'm getting my nails done on Thursday. So like, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Today's Tuesday. That's not the point. It's the fact that like, if you curl your hair 
And sometimes you burn yourself and you don't realize that you burn yourself until like three seconds later and then you realize like, oh, my hand is still like touching something hot. That's how this is. Like I don't realize at first and then it like burns my hand. I think I'm gonna just have to start with this one so that I can do it real quick. Ugh, I don't know though. I don't really want to burn this yet. Maybe I'll burn this tonight and just make Tristan light it. I should have gotten other lighters while I was at TJ Maxx. See, like now I can feel it like low key burning my finger, but at least it's over with, it's fine. And I know you're also supposed to trim them down before you light them again, and I normally do, but because that's the only lighter I have, I kind of need the flames to be like, I need the wick to be longer so that I can actually reach it without burning myself. I'm gonna start cleaning. When's my acid bowl getting here? I feel like I could fall asleep in the street right now. Hello everybody, I'm back home. I decorated yesterday like what I got from TJ Maxx and then I realized that I just like didn't get a lot of stuff. So this is like all I've got. <laughs> um, during school today, I just was like looking at like more decorations because right now like that's literally all I have. But little pumpkin candle and some soap. I decided to potentially look at like pillows and stuff. So I did find some pillows that I wanna get for the fall, but I think I'm also gonna go back to TJ Maxx in like a month because my mom is gonna be here visiting. And I figured like the both of us at TJ Maxx is just probably gonna get some stuff done. And then I also started looking at stuff for Christmas just so I'm prepared and I'm not like relying only on TJ Maxx has to offer. But I also was like, okay, I'm gonna need to like buy a Christmas tree, which is so weird because I've never had to like get one. I've always just had one. So I looked up like Christmas trees on Amazon. I got like lights ready to go for it, ornaments, and then like the garland that goes around it. So that's the plan there for Christmas. <laughs> but speaking of Christmas, I also spent the day like organizing things I want for Christmas, things I'm getting people, just to kind of like budget things because uh, my best friend's birthday is next month, Christmas is in two months, and then my boyfriend's birthday is two days after Christmas. I really want to just plan out like about how much money I'm going to be spending so I can kind of just like be ready for that. I was calling people like talking about that and they were like, you're insane. Like, why are you preparing for Christmas like this soon? But it's not that I'm preparing for Christmas. I'm preparing my budget for Christmas. Like I'm not gonna buy these things for like another month or two at least. My thing is I like being done Christmas shopping by Thanksgiving. So I have stuff planned out in an ocean board. I've like organized gifts and stuff that I want. I'm prepared for that. But all about to say, um, I'm now home and I think what I'm gonna plan on doing for the rest of the day is cleaning out my closet a little bit and I want to start selling clothes on Depop again. Yeah, I wanna start selling clothes on Depop again. I wanna go and like potentially sell books on Pango. I think what I wanna do is just like put stuff up on Depop, put stuff up on Pango books and look for like a month to see if it sells and if it doesn't sell, then I'll just like donate it, which is fine. But obviously like if I could make a buck on it, that would be nice. I was about to start going through clothes and stuff. And then I forgot to mention that we actually got Halloween pants, like pajama pants, me and Tristan. They're from TJ Maxx also, but this is what they look like. They have like bats and mummies, but it's Stitch. So cute. They also had Snoopy, but I love Stitch. So I wanted these, but I'm gonna go through my closet. We have all of this to go through. I have a lot of like band shirts, sweatshirts, like things that I have like emotional attachments to. Excuse me, Sage. You know, she's not supposed to be in here. So she just bolted. Yeah, this is what it looks like in here. Go outside, please. I'll be right back. I have like band shirts that I have like attachments to, but they literally have stains on them. So I'm like, girl, get rid of them. But this has also made me realize that I definitely do need more long sleeves because these are my long sleeves right here. And then these are all of my short sleeves. We're gonna go through that. And then I'll give you guys an update afterwards. I don't feel like I have a good angle that I can put you guys at. And I just don't feel like it's really worth showing because I have no like plan of how I'm doing this. So I feel like it's not gonna be very organized. So I'll just see you guys after. Hey queen, little update. So I did so much cleaning yesterday that I, it like, it was sunset by the time I finished um, organizing the clothes I want to get rid of. Like YouTubers that like sell their clothes on Depop and like celebrities that cl sell their clothes on Depop, like they obviously can't use their address. So I want to see if I can like make it so that my address isn't seen, but I can like put my Depop like in like my description. So that if you guys want something, like you can get it. And same with like the Pango books, but I don't want to be doxxed. So if there's like a way to do that, I'll have to figure that out. But 
I wound up doing that and then Tristan came over and we saw that Baja Blasts are now like gelatos, like you can get the gelatos. So I'm gonna put the video of us trying it in here because I forgot my camera because I just did not think that we were gonna like go get it. So I thought we were just gonna get Taco Bell and like that was gonna be it. I took, I forgot my camera. So I was like, oh, I can vlog it on my phone. But then I was like, eh, actually I'd rather make like a TikTok video. So I'll put the TikTok in here now. <laughs> Stop doing that. We're at Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Rumor has it they have <clears throat> Baja Blast Gelato. Tell me why I pay five dollars for this. Yo. Yeah. Um, hello. I get first bite. I broke the spoon. I'm the lady. Anyways. <laughs> like it tastes just like it tastes like very plasticky. Any other sounds you'd like to make with your mouth? Oh my god. I think it's pretty good. Okay, well you can have it then. It is currently 10.35 and I am early for my nail appointment, but I figured I would like to sit here and update you guys. Um, today I do have some stuff I have to do for school and then I have work. So depending on um, how much footage I got will depend on if I do any vlogging tomorrow. But normally tomorrow is like my day to rest and do nothing after school until I have to go to work. Why is this not scanning? Hang on a second, I have to scan my parking. Okay, anyways. First game of the football season tonight. These are the nails that I'm getting rid of. Um, these are definitely my favorite that I've done so far. I'm literally obsessed with them. They were so cute. I got so many compliments on them. I loved these so, so much. I had these on my Pinterest for a while, but I'm, I'm fully obsessed, so. They're quite long. Um, I think I wanna go a little bit shorter on the next ones just because I'm not getting my nails done again until like mid-October and it's the 5th of September right now. But I have to wait a little bit because the next nails that I get after this are gonna be my Seattle nails. So I wanna make sure that when I'm in Seattle, like my nails aren't like grown out or anything. Like I want them to look fresh and good. Mind you, like my nail retention's pretty good. Like this is after about a month. And if it's nude, I feel like I'll be fine. I don't know, we'll see. I just, I, I think I wanna go a little shorter because I kind of started with them a little bit longer this time. So now when they're grown out, like they're just a little further past my comfort zone. Um, I'm gonna chill here for a second, get updated on like my emails and stuff. Cause surprisingly, your girl gets emails like crazy, okay? They may not be business emails, but girl, I got school emails that I gotta go through. So I'm gonna sit here and try to be productive and then I will see you guys after my nail appointment. I am so freaking tired right now and it's so hot out. But anyways, nails are done. They are so freaking cute. I don't know if you can really see them that well. I took pictures that I'll put in if you can't really tell. That's what they look like. I am gonna be in Seattle in October. So I figured my Seattle nails are gonna be my October nails, but therefore I need to get spooky nails. Now look at the tears on that. Isn't that crazy? I'm also like super drained and not really talking because I'm so hungry. Um, I think I wanna get Chick-fil-A before class because um, I just want something I can eat real quick in the car. Those are my nails. For the rest of the day, I have class and then work. Why does it have me in California? Girl, I'm in Tennessee. What are you doing? I need to figure this out, bye.